ladies and gents, tip those hats because Bumit is back. That's Roy. He's back in, and he's better than ever. Not really. He's just got to do this because he wants to. Because he's waited far too long to not do it. I mean, really, he's waited like almost two weeks. You deserve better than that. Don't you? You've been waiting too long for this beach party. You want to see them girls in swimsuits? Who wouldn't? I'm just doing the link right now so that everyone knows that we are having the beach party with the chicks. If it ever loads. Ah, yes, our first... Our first... Uh... It's, uh, something. He just, I just had no clue what to call you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> there we are. And of course, YouTube just closes. <laughs> the happens to the best of us all. There's no one here. And yet it said there was someone here. I guess I'm having this beach party alone like last time. Unless it turned off on us. No, don't tell me that. Oh, God, don't tell me. Okay, just moved it a little. Let's see if it's actually working still. Okay, yeah, it's actually working. I guess uh, I guess someone decided to drop it and then they're like, uh, Yeah, no. <laughs> Look at this idiot, man. E3. <laughs> and then it's like... Uh. I guess it's all alone. Buffett must enjoy all them suits by him, them lonesome. Yeah, Buffett had to do it a little differently. At the behest of Zinnia, the, the brilliant mad lad decided, yeah, since you haven't done it in like two weeks, you know, and you want to do it, you know, maybe you should like switch it around this week, you know, go do do Donga Rampa on Wednesday and then zero the uh, zero time dilemma on Friday, and it's like, bro, that's like brilliant. <laughs> I definitely was not thinking that. <laughs> I just keep drinking this water. Oh God, why is water so good? So anyway, how is that? How y'all doing? That's right, I'm doing very good, uh, Buffett in chat, because Buffett's the only one in chat, because Buffett's the only one here. That is super sad, so he's gonna give him a top hat box, give, give themselves a top hat box, hat, just to make it seem like someone else is here, so they don't feel so alone. That's right, Buffett is alone and lonely. Ah, uh, yes! Mm. My, my beautiful Nibuki man. Mm -hmm. Why won't you show me your swimsuit? I want to see what her swimsuit is. Ugh. Of course. Oh god, that's a little loud. Obvious. I can't wear. <laughs> oh man, this man. He, he was so prepared. He just came in full. He just. He's going, he's going all in, man. He's like, I'm wearing my swimsuit. <laughs> Under here, ain't no underwear. Really? Oof. Uh. Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours, huh? Then you gotta go change the bathroom. Bro, oh God, man, making me change in a diner bathroom. And bro, I feel very concerned with this man. He's got me a bathing suit. But knowing him, his tastes are not great. <laughs> knowing him, he's probably got me this daring, like, Speedo. <laughs> daring Speedo! It's Commando. It's even Commando style. Uh, uh, yeah, it's Commando style. Damn, man, he wants me, he wants to blend into me. Wear this, it'll blend in with your skin and make you appear naked. <laughs> Show off your junk to all the females. <laughs> That's it, pro dominance. <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> oh man, she's she's too she's too conf she's too frightened. She's like, oh god, no! That's too daring of you. <laughs> That's too daring. 
<laughs> I'm always one step ahead of these these lads. <laughs> I've been, I've had my fair share of lustful indulgences. <laughs> I know these things. I've read manga and anime. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, I am. I'm going to wear and rock that speedo. I am the speedo torpedo. What if something falls out? <laughs> if this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. Hey man, at least I'll be unlike all of you chumps. <laughs> I get the special preferential treatment by the, ex the executives. <laughs> Paying more attention to me than you. <laughs> Jealous, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, even at worst, it won't turn into a, li a live action drama. The Battle of the Dongs. <laughs> that is not a problem because I'm not wearing that because I'm a little pansy weenie. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what is it? Are you telling you don't want to match me? You hear that? You probably didn't, but that was the sound of the wind as the leaves blow by my blank expression. <laughs> he wants us to match junks. I am appalled <laughs> that he thinks he can even compare, that he's even in the league of my superior tool. <laughs> I was going to say junk again, and then I'm like, no, that's stupid. I can't keep saying the word junk. It's a matching set. Then I'm definitely not wearing it, you you imbecile. Yo, just imagine though, if we were actually wearing matching speedos, all the guys just show all the boys just show up in the same exact speedo. <laughs> Man, if we did that, no lady would be able to tell us apart. <laughs> I believe it's bad to be fighting, so let's stop. <laughs> but we're fighting over what we're going to wear to impress you. You should be thanking us. In fact, why haven't you taken off your clothes yet? Let's show us, show us the swimsuit. Show us the, cool, the school suit. Because you, oh yes, you, you will be the one definitely rocking the school swimsuit, I am sure of it. <laughs> peeking! Peeking! <gasps> we finally acquired someone else! They've heard my lustful desires! Things are heating up something fierce. Once everyone's gonna come, I hope they come soon. Oh god, man. Man, if you keep teasing me like this, man... I, I might not hold out much longer. <laughs> and as she said that, I peeked out the window and Ow! noticed. What did I notice? What is it? Look outside. Oh my God! Would you just tell us? <coughs> A child. Yoko. Ah uh, yes, the little, the little one, the orange slice. Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. I thought it was a person I could actually legally hit on. Doesn't she seem a little strange? God, she looks like she has got a cat face. <laughs> like there's just a little dot for like where the nose is. And like her mouth is just like a line that's sort of like curving down. <laughs> Bruh, they thought I wouldn't notice. <sighs> God, man. Hiding the cat girl in plain sight. God. What? No less. I expect no less. If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. The Sprint of Tears running down my face that are non-existent. Although, she, uh, I guess she sort of looks upset. <laughs> she wasn't invited. <laughs> She couldn't have the males observing her. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Bruh, if you're concerned, why not just go out and ask her? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why are you just sitting in here? Despite our questions, Yoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed and flaunting her luscious legs. 
Huh? Bro, no, wait, I just noticed. She was in sandals. Like, flip-flops. Or, like, whatever. Or, wait, or is she wearing, like, one of those platform things? I don't know what they're called. Bro, if she was running in those, man, that's impressive. Ooh. She totally ran past that, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? <laughs> the beach crew. Well. Mm, well, apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're there for? You know, provide resuscitation. She just jumps in the water. My God, help me! I can't swim. <laughs> Man, we could have totally helped her swim. Bro, conquering your fears, that's what you gotta do. Hmm. But didn't you just come running from the beach? Bro, you don't need to swim to be at the beach, man. She was obviously building sandcastles, duh. You know, she's the only person of superior step. No, wait, no, wait, that's actually not true. Can't say that because Sonya is here. The actual royalty. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know the details about that. <laughs> Women are just full of surprises, even the little ones. <laughs> Aren't I sounding intelligent? <laughs> My hero is a type to totally calm, but she so but she surprisingly turned us down. Big sad. Hmm. Mahiru, she did. She turned you down? <gasps> That's so unexpected of her not to join an event like this. In fact, she'd be the one totally planning it, bro. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently, she wasn't feeling well. That is Cap. <laughs> Stop the Cap. <laughs> right there. Um... <laughs> I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but... Why was Yoko crying? Why are you crying? Again... <laughs> bro... Am I the only one who's finding this incredibly suspicious? I feel like a murder has happened. <laughs> Something has happened at the beach house. Why are you asking us? Yeah, man, if you want to know why the- Oh, no, wait. If Mikan went out there, she'd just be called Back away, pig barf! And then Mikan would be like, I'm sorry! Oh my god, this water is so good. Oh. Mm. oh. But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Oh god, no. No. Oh no. The beach is gone. No. The water is all dried up. Oh my god, that's what happens when you have all sunny days. Just evaporates into nothing. Ugh. God, I'm surprised no one has shown up. <laughs> That's actually very strange. Usually someone's shown up to make fun of me. <laughs> At least one person. I mean, someone else is here, but they're definitely not saying anything. I guess they're shy. <laughs> Isn't that right, Baby Yoda? Yeah, you need to go in the wash anyways. Hey. Heck, <laughs> you're not even mine. I don't even know why you're still in here. Whoa! Whoa, what what the heck? Someone When did you get here? Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what we was looking at was near the diner in the entrance. As I turned around I noticed a pure white oh, melon. My, how disappointing. I thought if I came early I'd be the first one to arrive. Yes, I am I am looking disrespectfully. <laughs> look at the pig, man. <laughs> look at the pig. He's like giving her this look like, oh my, look at those porkers. <laughs> I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot, bro. So am I, man. I must, but I'm not an idiot, man. I'm owning this. That, <laughs> that knot in the middle does not look tight. That looks like it will fall out like in five minutes. After this swimming, she judge she cannonballs in once. It's gonna like flop off. Whoa, Chiaki, you came wearing only your swimsuit. Bro, she obviously, man, she wants to get a nice tan in. You know, she wants some tan lines. I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, 
It'd be a serious burden. Bro, didn't she like come carrying like a box of like something? Serious burden. <laughs> but even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. <laughs> Kazuichi, we're, we're, Kazuichi and me, we're on the same like, wavelength, man. I'm just, I just keep, I just keep showing it, man, because it's just. Like, mm. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. You brought ice cream on a tropical island in this heat, <laughs> bro. And she didn't even put it in a cooler. She brought it in like this little like <laughs> macaroon box. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but. But what? But, 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 but what? Ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Bro, man, here she's thinking my she's my nutritionist again. She's always thinking about it. She's always wanting to be the one to <laughs> say, You should put this in your body. Go eat some apples. <laughs> Go eat a salad. Now we're having jambalaya. It's got to be a three full course meal on every occasion. <laughs> also... I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together, so I brought a board game too. You brought a board game? You didn't even bring pails? How the heck are we supposed to build sound castles? Bro, she didn't even also bring an umbrella. Not at British, British, knowing her, man, she's probably forgot that she's supposed to wear like sun lotion. Bro, did we, we even bring sun lotion? Hmm. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. Oh wow, <laughs> Ibuki just like, hmm, should we play this game that you that you did, that you took time and effort to you know decide to bring? Mm, yeah, no, we're just gonna not do that. <laughs> we're gonna play. We're gonna go in the ocean. What did you say? <laughs> I took this time to prepare this game. We are going to play this game. What game did she bring? She definitely, she's, she brought sorry. <laughs> she brought sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I guess we're not going to play today. I see. <coughs> That's disappointing. Bro, I will be the one to indulge Chiaki. I get her all <gasps> to myself. But how should I say this? Bro. Is this what Gap Moe is? <laughs> For someone so normally so quiet to wear such a daring swim, it makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Excited? No. Doesn't make me excited. It makes me. <clears throat> Wanna get close. Like, real close. Like, on my face close. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> How don't you know, man? <laughs> what? Does he not like women? <laughs> he doesn't like the female. He doesn't like the female species. <laughs> That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting fast. Oh, no, wait. He's actually getting... He's getting aroused. <laughs> aroused. <laughs> Chiaki, you have given me flirtation. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> Serious, man. I never expected you have such huge juggers. What happened? Juggers? <laughs> you mean these? Titanic Titamaries? My bountiful juggernauts? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I didn't say that just now. It was Hajimi. He's a pervert, you know. And then she's actually like blushes from this. She's like, pervert? <laughs> No, she says it in like a like a little soft but like soon to right tone like hentai. <laughs> I mean I only got eyes for the Miss Sonya. <laughs> Yet he has eyeballs right now. I dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a child. Am I not blonde enough for you? What hair color would you call that? Like what color is Chiaki's hair? It looks... I don't even know. What Like, what would you call that? I don't know. It's a really nice hair color. Very, It's very pleasant. Mm. 
The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Bro, man, she, she's already been all the generic uh, sizes. The one size fits all. She's already she her ju her jugers are just out outclass those. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. Hey, oh, hey. I don't look good at it. What are you talking about? You make men grow mountains. And then you will climb those mountains. And claim and claim us. Huh? Well, no. I guess you look good. Bruh. Man, why are character? Why are guys so pathetic when it comes to complimenting girls they always say like the most boring and generic things imaginable like oh you look good it looks nice on you it makes you look cute and it's like bro man you you gotta compliment her say she looks gorgeous man that she's dropped that she's dropped that gorgeous man that you want to just hug her so much or she you want to know more about that fashion sense and it's like oh god man <sighs> Or that you're glad that you or that you're glad that she got to, that that uh, she you're glad that she took the time to like put on such uh, uh, beautiful or like new clothing that is clearly like probably like newly bought or you know her best clothing just for you like say stuff like that but don't just say you look good <laughs> you look good <laughs> and the and the worst part is though is that the girls actually believe it. <laughs> God, we made her blush. I don't want to say she's easy, but, you know, she's definitely a little, I don't know, I find she's a little socially awkward. My kind of gal. I'm really glad, I guess. Brothers, just so much, you know, hot air. Just going around in this joint. <laughs> I shot my bullets <laughs> from my mouth. <laughs> Where I'm a kidding is sure daring. Bruh, she's a, she's so late on that. We said that like ages ago. And you get points like for wearing a white one. At least it's not a black one. Oh my. That's too mature for a gay us. My heart's not just thumping, it's thumping all sporadic, like, like, ba dum thump thump ba dum <laughs> Bro, that's a good beat. ba dum thump thump ba dum <laughs> It's probably a, you're probably going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> Wants to rip it open her rib cage. Yo! Yo, I kept you waiting, bro. We got another bountiful beauty coming up. As we heard the voice as the diner door slowly opened, and the person who walked through it was... The murder victim. <laughs> hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Bro, she's so tall the pig can't even see her. <laughs> we don't even get the pig, we don't get to see the pig's lustful eyes anymore. <laughs> Well, you see, I was I was I was on my way here, but then I ran into Hyoko and she fell on top of me, and I ended up hitting my head on this rock, you see. <laughs> what? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. This time? So this has happened before. That she's been invited to something like this and then she's not wearing a swimsuit. Mm -hmm. Why at this time you have to wear the swimsuit, man? Come on. You could have just had the black bars just floating above there, like, no, this is too much. Not that! Your wounds! Your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now! Yeah, I'd say Carrie had more blood. Plus, this is pink. Uh, oh, you're talking about these. Bro, we all ate. Is Don Gar Rampa characters aliens? I mean, they're like, have pink blood. That's not normal. Brother covered in pink sauce. <gasps> yeah, remember that? Remember that from like two months, like two months ago? <laughs> you know when that thing, that was a thing. Pink sauce. 
Oh god, that's gonna sound so dated in like 10 years. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nothing like saying a reference that per people in the future will definitely never understand. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. Conch! And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? <laughs> he took, he took, Nekomaru took one look at her and she's like, I want you now. It's time, let's fight! And by fine, I mean the sea. <laughs> sea. Why does she have to do that? Doesn't she know she can get preggers? Are you really all right? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. I have no idea what they're talking about. The hair is blocking so much. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? Yeah, you'll heal because you'll be in heaven. Because spit, you'll probably just give yourself a, a freaking disease by rubbing spit in it. Don't rub spit in your wounds. Like, don't do that. Like, why would you do that? Like, spit is not clean. It's full of whatever you've eaten. What's ever in your mouth. And, like, mucus. Like, it's like, why would you ever want to rub just rub that in your, you know, in a gaping wound? You're totally playing up the power of human spit! As if the human spit had any power to begin with. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. Bro, you know, I just noticed Akane's got some, uh, got some very prominent, uh, what the heck are they called? Collarbones. Oh, that's the last we get to see of her. Oh, no. Anyway, you need to be treated. Luckily for you, I'm a nurse. Come with me to the bathroom. Forceful demeanor, Mikana pulled Akane into the bathroom. Strange noises have... <laughs> strange noises began emerging from the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be all up to her. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's, that's Miss Pekko right there. Peku Peku Yami. <laughs> no, Peko Peko Mommy. <laughs> All right. Oh, who is this this time? Mm. <laughs> of course, she's the one who gets the black swimsuit. You know, I don't know why she's all sweaty, but I don't know why, but I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> the power of girl covered in sweat. <laughs> it just invokes, it just invokes a surge inside Buffett, unlike the previous two. Oh god. Hajimin, Kazuichi, why are you two here? Did she just call me Hajimin? <laughs> I swear she just called me Hajimin. Why are you why are you two here? Because we are awesome and we have ears like canaries. <laughs> I don't <laughs> What the what did I just say? What the heck? I'm just gonna own it. Just own it from now on. Just <laughs> not even caring anymore. Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? She's excited to see us, an actual man, showing off her skin in front of them. She's never done that before. I just did a little swimming. Oh, that's not sweat. That's just water. Boo! Give me back my excitement from that sweatness. Sweaty girl. A little swimming? A little swimming. Bro, why do I sound like I'm like drunk and like why do I sound bored at this? What kind of man would be bored at this? Just watching a whole bunch of girls go to going on a beach trip. Them just flaunt of just them in swimsuits. Like what wh who would be upset at this? Why are you bored? I, I, I seriously begin I'm seriously doubting Hajimi. Hajimi? 
is into girls. I seriously doubt he is. I don't know, man. He doesn't seem enthusiastic at this. I mean, he doesn't have to be enthusiastic like Kazuichi, but, like, definitely, man, he should be, like, a little bit enthusiastic. I swam around the island for about three hours. Three hours, man! You didn't die? You didn't drown? <laughs> Bro, man, she just got that respawner. Bruh, how do you swim around for three hours around a whole island? That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Yeah, man, a little swimming is just like a little baby pool. I don't know, like the one I used to go to, like, <laughs> literally like two blocks away. <laughs> yeah, just, a, yeah, did you know that there's like a little pool that's like two blocks away? <laughs> I can't go there anymore because it literally doesn't, I'm so tall, I'm like, it barely, just barely goes over my knees now. The deepest part. <laughs> just like goes over my, barely, less, just I think just goes over my knees. The deepest part and it's like, <laughs> I can't swim here. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? How did you know that? <laughs> Were you listening in? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Uh, okay. So you're telling me if you swim one, if you, so even if you swam for three hours, you still wouldn't reach a different island? Bruh. So you're telling me every time we go to a different island, we spend like over three hours getting there? <laughs> Bruh, man. I can't stop the gap. <laughs> huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. But why would you be leaving the island by swimming anyways? Why not just build a boat? We literally have surfboards. And a whole bunch of other stuff we could just tie to the surfboards and just like float away. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, man, <laughs> exactly. If you swam towards an island for three hours, <laughs> like... Yeah. Uh, I got a... My... I got a, a situation just arose, so I'm gonna have to quickly take a break.
Sorry about that. Are we still going strong? I don't know. Sorry, that was a that was a long break, but a situation arose. Like I said, uh, yeah, apparently one of the ca sisters' cats broke another snow globe. <laughs> yep, another snow globe. Ugh. We started off with six, and now there's three. Yay! Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Don't you love when you're when an animal just destroys your possessions? Even though they mean so much to you. Hey. Hey, Hajimi. <laughs> That's uh, it's this is just this whole ordeal has just thrown me off my groove. <laughs> and of course we because of it, we've lost the one person that we had, even though they were a silent viewer. <laughs> what? Awesome! A woman with wet, slicked back hair is pretty fine too, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, so far, so far I'd probably say like Mm, should I what would I rank first? Mm, I don't know. I say I say Peko Mommy and then Chiaki. Although those two are pretty much so close together. And then I probably say Akane because those are like the only three people. Oh my my. And this body too. So fit. Show it again. <laughs> Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Yes. Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Mm, what? Don't say such asinine things. Such asinine things. <laughs> yeah, your 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 ba your boobs are uh, fine as they are. <laughs> anyway, it looks like almost everyone's almost here. It's almost already past 4 p.m. That means uh, I am terribly sorry for my delay. <gasps> oh, the one we've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> he doubled down on the excitement. Oh, the music just stopped. You know it's gonna be good. Uh, oh man, <gasps> blam! What? Uh, I feel. Uh, it's a wetsuit. I feel cheated. But strangely, it looks good on her. It looks like very good. She's like, I can't show off my royal body. Who knows who's watching? <laughs> it is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. That's why they invented sunscreen. <laughs> However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. How do you put on a wetsuit? Is it just like a full? Is it like a full body suit where you just like uh, there's like a little zipper in the back and you, is that a? Um, I don't know. I've never I've never seen or actually, I've never actually even seen a real wetsuit. Really, it is my bad. <laughs> She's like how to make up something. It sounded like it sounded like text to speech. Really, it is. My bad. <laughs> like she's like she had no clue what to say or how to say it. She just said it. <laughs> oh my. Bro, I also love how they changed the music for that. Like <laughs> it's like Whoa! a wetsuit does have a beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia, and that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just wanting them from a hundred purebred princess. He's he's quick on the recoveries. <laughs> He'll outlast her. Um. Mm, not gonna lie. Uh. I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I came to stop this perverted man from spying on you. By spying on you. 
To be honest, if you're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this was really supposed to be a girls only uh, outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. <laughs> Do you think you can make an obsession? Freddy, please, brother. He's like slobbering everywhere. <laughs> Good thing she's wearing a wetsuit. Um. Oh god, look at that navel. <sighs> god, don't you just want to her belly? It's okay if there's be probably if there are some boys. Then they came all this way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. Oh my god, taking pity on us. Actually, I was sort of like just like dragged here. Ah! It's Sonia, you are far too kind. Don't you see the sparkle in my eyes? Alright! Yeah. And then he just like wham! Whips off his clothes and shows off his camo speedo. Wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, man! No need to wait for that second-rate clown. Now that the almighty, holy, holiness, Miss Sonia is here, that's all we need. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Bra simp. Engines revving. I mean, I promise I'll give it my all to serve you so everyone has fun. <laughs> Bro, she has a servant and he's not even her servant. He is lusting so hard for that booty. And he and she just has no clue that he's even he's even hunting it. With an abnormal amount of gut to gusto. He bolted out of the diner through the window. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> um. Bro, they're all staring at the <laughs> they're all staring at Hajime like, how do we look? You checking us out? Are you gonna do something with us? <laughs> like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> this is a little awkward. I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. <laughs> I should be go help Kazuichi too. No, you get to stay here. I ran out of the diner almost as if I were escaping. Boo! Get back in there, man! Get in there! No! No! I want to see them! I want to see them all! I don't want to go to the beach. Chandler Beach. Why would I want to go to this dump? Our body has been discovered. Everyone, please make your way to Chandler Beach. It couldn't be. A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Wait, he didn't even tell him where it was. <gasps> oh, oh! That's a lie! It's impossible! S someone... Someone come here! Come here! <laughs> that was definitely Kazuichi's voice. Time to burst in like a total badass. BAM! So now I'm gonna try to open the door. Cut the witch, you open it up, you fucking idiot! <laughs> what does this mean? Hey, look, ah, no, wait, I just noticed there's a Monokuma floating in midair! Whoa! He's hanging off with the tide. Bam! Blurst into Are smoke. Are you serious? Really came in from here. What am I so nervous about? It's only a body. 
Yeah, I won't believe it until... I won't believe it until... I won't believe it! Who would believe something like that? And as I walked through the door, I noticed... The corpse. I won't believe it. <laughs> the moment I stepped into the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered to pieces. <sighs> Bro, if there's that much blood, why is there no blood on the other side of the door? <laughs> What? What the fuck? Blood doesn't just stop at the door. When did... When did I be begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is my room on the floor covered in blood? Nah, I didn't like you anyways. <laughs> and I couldn't believe in anything. Chapter 2, Sea and Punishment, Sin and Coconuts, Deadly Life. Mahiru Koizumi. She had an unyielding force over personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Cap. If it's a man, she did not. And she was always straightforward. Uh, no. Nah. Actually, I don't know. Towards us and toward herself. She was always facing forward. Oh, we got another person. I didn't even notice. Hello. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why'd you have to go get killed? You freaking idiot! <laughs> the muscles on my face stiffened and grew hard! Darkness clouded my vision. Wait a minute. Yeah, the dumb, the dumb rules. Cause wait. Cause Kazuichi. And presumably Hyoko. But where's the third one? Sorry, I was just thinking about something. I have experience in this department. I'm actually ve I'm actually very intelligent <laughs> when it comes down to it. <laughs> There's just certain things that fire my neurons, that activate my almonds, <laughs> if you will. Because Kazuichi came to the beach house, and he discovered the body, and the body sound was like, bloop, played. So that means he was the third person. But the only... Oh, wait. And Hyoka was running away and crying. So she was presumably the second person, but who was the th but who was the presumably the first and third person? I'm saying first because the first person discovered the body, but third person out of the three people. It would have to be Fuyuhiko. because he was also around here before. Everyone starts showing up. Well, at least that's the only explanation I can think of. 
because you can't just have like say uh, a random person well actually I guess you could but I don't, I don't think that'd be good sorry I just like trying to so I, I like trying to solve murders except for the first one <laughs> I just sort of you know eh, whatever I mean I had a feeling it was territorial because whatever oh in case you in case you didn't know in case you're this is like the first episode you saw yeah territory first get murderer <laughs> I just spoiled it again like again uh see so yeah, it would it would be Kazuichi's the third the third the third of three the Yoko the second of three Fihiko first of three yeah but why won't he why won't he watch if you who's a douche but a douche nozzle why wouldn't he say anything and he was so calm. Hmm. This is gonna be an interesting one, I can tell. Damn it! <laughs> Jimmy, ma'am! Before this, we're having a great time, right? <laughs> Bra, man, there goes the beach party. <gasps> Bro, I wonder if the mo I wonder if all, like, the girls' models for, like, this investigation are just gonna be, like, them in swimsuits. Oh my god, that'd be so good! <laughs> <laughs> Just Chiaki walking around like <laughs> in a swimsuit. <laughs> we were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun, and then this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Someone tell me why. I actually don't know what's going on either, man. Oh. Um. Um. Why aren't you changed? I grow rabbit tail from my mouth. <laughs> Now's not the time to make the bubbles. <laughs> Hurry up and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken. <gasps> no! Ch no! Don't change! No! <sighs> no! Within me, the lair peeling off. My senses started to return. Around the time, I, the others were already here. Huh? No! 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 Ah! Bruh! You had gold in your hand right there. Keep them in the swimsuits. Oh, you fools! You fool of game developers, why? Why? Why did you do this? Why? Why did you change them? <laughs> I didn't even get to see Mekons or Ibukis. <sighs> the girls were standing outside the door late. Leading to the beach, their faces pale in terror. Something like this, bro. I prefer you back in your sweat, your wetsuit. <laughs> their pair of is still intact. The girls began to wobble toward the beach house. Sorry, there's just like hair that's in front of my eyes. That's very distracting. Hold it. Hold it. High five. <laughs> mm. Those things beneath you, careful not to step on them. What? The see? blood... The footprints! In front of the door. I didn't see no footprints. I didn't see... What the... There's no footprints in front of the door? Bruh, continuity error. There were no footprints. There are footprints leading out of the beach house. That's probably an important clue. Right, you don't have to be a genius to figure out who those are. Either A, they're Fuyuhikos, or B, Hyokos. Actually, they wouldn't, they wouldn't know that. I know that. Or at least that's what I presume. Because if Hyoko found the body, of course she'd be upset. Then again, I don't know why she wouldn't tell anyone about it. Well, I guess maybe they would think that she murdered her, I guess. 
But I don't know why she would do that. If, uh... Th I mean, they seem so close. But then again, you know, closeness has nothing... Uh, that closeness means nothing in this game. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're free, you he goes. Mm. Mm, I'm not sure. Huh? It's one of the two. If you mean evidence... Why is she blushing? Mana mentioned that right, after a certain amount of time, we hold a class trial. What the? Another trial? You serious? You're saying this is? That's right. One of you guys killed her. Lies. Kill? It's impossible. Uh, yeah, it's impossible. Yet yeah, there's a body literally right there, just off screen. You can see her feet and a dry, bloody drag marks. Hey, hey! Oh, look at there! You got an even better view! Saw like an act- Yeah. She just fell on her head, hit the bat, and like just magically slid all the way over towards the door. Like... If you guys think that's an asket, that still means the death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words... That also counts as a legitimate murder! Though such details fall into a gray area, on this island, I will make it clear if- I will make sure it's clear to you. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered murder. So wait, if I just like, I don't know, if I drowned, in, like, in the ocean, that's murder? Really? Cause you just said that basically that's the only death that is not considered murder. Is sickness. Yeah, but... Like, <laughs> if I drown in the ocean, that's murder. If I like, I don't know... Get on like... The... The something. If I climb on top of the supermarket, Rocket, Rocket Mart, and fall off and like, crack open my skull, that's murder? Like, bro, what? <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not even when Monami takes such good care of you people. Don't ask why I decided to do this. <laughs> bro, until next girl. Oh, come on, man. Bro, she's not gonna last that long. What's this? Speaking of which... I don't like this! There it is, a silent treatment attack! <laughs> I'm gonna lose... I'm not gonna lose to your bashing, I've decided to become a tough kid! <laughs> oh, was this alone? Sorry, I just I have to watch the stream? Okay, there we go. It changed. This is the worst! <laughs> Once again, this horrible nightmare! Uh, at least we don't actually have to hear her talk. This annoyance. No way! Jeez, this is not my fault, man. He's always scot free, bro. That's why he's so lo That's why Frank is so lovable. Because he just like enjoys doing nothing, waiting for people to kill each other. So that way, when they accuse him of killing people, he's just like, "Nope, I'm scot free." Puffing up his tie. Then whose fault is and it isn't, if you ask? Yippee! To find out, we hold the class trial! So... So let's begin. No whining, just begin already! It's the Monokuma file! <laughs> I love that sound effect. That was so fun. Do your best. I'll see you later. I, that was such a haunting do your best. That was... That delivery was so haunting. Do your best. <laughs> yeah, go away, diapers. Hey! Then you should have stopped it before it occurred. Don't you have the kind of power? <laughs> that I did have the power before you. He appeared. Perhaps. Judging from Mon Frank and Monami's really, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. <laughs> the magic stick and surveillance cameras. 
the only thing I can do is rely on these ears, but they can only hear about three times out of a normal person. So basically... You have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. The powerless rabbit me, like me, is the worst. <laughs> yeah, go away, diapers and mushrooms. Where's everyone else, man? We're like the only people here. We gotta do something. More important, what should we do? <laughs> we have to do it again. That cruel thing we have to do again. Why? My was killed by one of us. Damn it! Oh god, my omelet eyes can't take it anymore. <gasps> my sunny side eggs are no more. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore it. The reason my hero was killed. Hey. The only old bro, Chiaki man is oh, she's always like you know so, she's always so into games and so like you know, you know, s like, somewhat antisocial ish. She doesn't she doesn't really like hang around many people. She just sort of no, I wouldn't say like, so. She just sort of like does her own thing, but like when the time comes, man, she actually is like, blam, we gotta do this. She, you know it's you know. It's, you know, like the qual very she really like takes charge. Not like Biaki, but like you know, she like gives like these speeches, like we gotta do this. <laughs> Cause it's bad. Cause we should not never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Bro, why do I feel like Chiaki's gonna end <laughs> when she said that? When Chiaki said that, killing is something we should never forgive. Because we can, should never forgive it. I just feel like she's going to become a killer now. I like one hot, like I just f like feel it in my bones. Like she's going to become killer. <laughs> well, has the reasons. I understand that it was the same for Teru Teru. It really all is Frank's fault. I understand that, too. But even so, Fine. we should never forgive. I'll never allow it. Forgive it. Oof. She usually has her heads in the clouds. So for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. Well, that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for all of us to survive, we must do this. I'm gonna do it. Perhaps. Probably wants us to do it too. She would want us to reveal the truth of her death. <laughs> I will do it, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go tell the others who aren't here about this. You're sending the slowest person to like go and tell everyone. You're right. If you... If all of you heard the announcement, you won't know where the ter ter murder took place. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Marhiro Koizumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> oh my god, that face. So much pain. We have to do it. It's the only way. Must be brave. It's the only thing we can do. Oh god, ouch. My ears. Okay, we got like we got like an hour to do this investigation. Although I don't think it's gonna take that long. The victim is Mahiro Koizomi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. That's when we got there. That's when we got to the diner. And that was also the same time we saw Fuyuhiko. See, I'm just buffing the see buffin is buffin makes the connections. <laughs> when the time counts. The scene of the crime with body discovery is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. Okay. <laughs> they just gave her like a bloody hairdo. Cause <laughs> it is a single killing blow to the head. 
So a kill, a single killing blow to that bl with a blunt instrument. So the wound was fatal. So she pro probably died. In so she died instantly from that strike. That is. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign. Okay, no traces of foreign drug substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m., that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead. No, no, it's not the time to feel regret. I... I need to focus on what's doing what I can right now. I must be a man. For Mahiru, I must show I am a useful guy. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Oop, everyone just popped up. Okay, I really want to see what's in here because this is a jar. That's a little smidge. I should probably miss getting inside here too. I've been wanting to go in here a since I first found the uh, found the the place. Oh, that's where the wetsuit came from. <gasps> oh God! Don't tell me it was Sonya because she's wearing wait wetsuit. Oh God! Was she covered in blood? And she wore the wetsuit. Oh my God! Cause wait. Wait, are wet are are wetsuits supposed to like prevent you from getting wet? Wait, I gotta look this up. Gotta look it up. Sorry guys, I gotta look this up now, cause now I I feel like I'm onto something. Wetsuit. What does a wetsuit do? What does a wetsuit do? Wetsuits are usually worn by swimmers, divers, or surfers who swim in cold water. Insulate the swimmer or help retain their body. This turns swimmers to avoid or Dangerous temperature. What suits are made of car? How's what? Works by trapping a small amount of water. How do wetsuits work? It's probably the. What coming? Yes, your wetsuit does get wet. Hence the word wetsuit. There is no such thing as a dry suit. How how would soon put wet to the super trap small water between what suits in your skin trap water really warms up your body because blah blah blah. Okay, I was I thought I was on to something, but uh, it turns out that's not how wetsuits work. I was thinking like, bruh, she wears a wetsuit, and then it's like. Because she like got like blood or like she was wearing it. Well, it was also a black one, so maybe. Who knows? Pretty spacious walk-in closet. So much, <laughs> there's so much crap on the shelves and floor. Only one person can stand in here. But if you think about it this way, okay, well, let's see actually what's in here. They need this bomb for only one person to stay in here. Okay, flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies too. Hmm, there's some. No, there's nothing much else here to relate to the incident. There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves. Even surfboards had a surfboard case, but they're not put away properly. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put inside the swim case. And there's also an empty shelf, uh, an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Oh, we got a Goomy! A little Among Us Frank Goomy. Among Us Frank. Frank Among Us. <laughs> this yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy in a place like this is clearly unnatural. It's connected to the incident. Did someone drop it while they were waiting inside the closet? While they were while they were inside the closet. Frank Mungo Scummy. <laughs> I guess that's the only thing that catches my eye in the closet. Actually, I should check around. Oh, see, like I said, man, check around. Bam. See, oh my God, I'm too good. I've um, been 
Oh my god. I had no clue. I literally was like, oh my god, wait, why am I leaving? I gotta check around. Bro, he was just up in the void. He no clipped out of the out of bounds. How suspicious. What is this? It's just, oh, she's talking about the footprints. See? You know the footprints were they were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? I keep spinning all over my phone. Like Jesus. Oh that. Well, Hajime Kazuisa for a show that you guys were the ones to first go inside the beach house. But these footprints are the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Yeah, like I said, you know, it was probably Hyoko uh, again, but they wouldn't know that. But uh, I'm telling you, it was probably Hyoko or Fuyuhiko may not exactly be the ones who kill her. Well, actually, do, would the killer? Is the killer? No. No, I'm th trying to think back to the the first game. Because uh, when we found the body, uh, okay, well, let's say, who, who whose body we found? Oh, okay, a good example would be Taka. The three people found... Oh, actually, we wouldn't know. We have to find a body that was found individually. No, we haven't had a body like that. Actually... Actually, yeah, we have. Not, not, uh, not Taka. Hifumi, Hifumo, Hifumo the Almighty. Cause that was me, Byakuya, and Kyoko who found Hif Hifumo in the repository. Yeah. So the, I, I, I was just, I just had a thought. I'm like, does the killer count a part of the discovery? But then I'm thinking back. No, they pro no, they don't. They don't. They don't have it. So. The killer is not is not Fuyuhiko, Hyoko, or Kazuichi, because they all counted towards the discovery. Well, unless no, it couldn't no, it couldn't have been it couldn't have been anyone else. Well, but but what I mean by that is, uh, it couldn't have been like uh, someone who. Because Fiyoko, if Fuyuhiko was, wait, wait, mm, wait, wait, does Fuyuhiko, with Fuyu, because if Fuyuhiko was near the diner at three, like at around three a.m., three p.m., like when we got there, does that mean he was there? For the murder? Like, he was he there with the murderer? Well, thinking along those lines, he would probably, yeah, he would have to have been there before for, well, maybe not, well, before the murder, because, because, well, if, thinking along those lines, if he was, then he would, because there's only one set of footprints going out from the beach, the, to the beach, to the back. So then, the murderer and Fuyuhiko kill the person. Well, maybe not them together. Maybe, maybe them together. Who knows? They kill Mahiru. Then he leaves through this through this door. Uh, yeah, I don't have my cursor. Through the door, the Mahiru's on. And then the killer drags her body to the door. 
And I'm guessing Hiyoko... I don't know why Hiyoko was there. And she goes out the back, leaving the footprints. And that's why you see her running. Wait, doesn't it- wait, also, like, Hyoko likes gummy, so she was in the closet? What a creeper. <laughs> <clears throat> Bro, man, Hyoko- Hyoko barely avoided, uh, getting murdered. But why would she wait- oh. I don't know, man, okay, we're gonna have to keep going. I was such a long rambling. I, I feel like I rambled for like five, ten minutes. Ah. At first, I tried to go to the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open, so I went around to the back side. You can go in from the road because Myra's bio was blocking hmm. it. And that's why I noticed the footprints. There's footprints leaning tunnel before along the long one person. Someone's footprints leaning out of the beach house. That's definitely huh? suspicious. Pika said she. Went for a little swim. Those could those footprints be hers? But uh, no. Well. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I don't know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But still. But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. <sighs> Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Huh? Then whose footprints are these? It appears. There's, it's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who they might be. Wait, also. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Buffett dumb. Buffett dumb. Buffett negative 127 IQ. Oh my god, I just- there was a big flaw in my- what I was saying. Oh my god, how did I not notice? How did that never cross my mind? Oh my god. I know. Buffett seems to notice some of- some, some- Buffett's brain just activates and sometimes notices like the most obscure things. And come up with the most craziest things. And he just com- and it just completely neglects the most obvious facts. I'm- what I think- because what I- what Buffett said- what Buffett thought is that- Hyoko was in the closet, and he, pa, pa, uh, the killer and Fuyuhiko killed Mahiru, and then Fuy Fuy Fuyuhiko left through the front door, and then the killer put the thing there, and we know that Hyoko more likely left through the back because there was no other way, but then, how did the killer get out? Without leaving footprints. Because the door is blocked, and the other way has you'd leave footprints in the sand, just like Kyoko did. How'd they get out? Oh my god, fucking hell. How'd I not notice that? That was so obvious. Oh god, thanks, Pe Peko, man. Peko's the one who. <laughs> Peko got me back on track. <laughs> uh, time to answer. We've got to figure out those questions. Well, for now, it's the obvious thing. It's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Oh, God. Oh, my God. That is so much stuff. Okay, we're going to talk to Paco now. I see. I'll never forgive killing. Hmm. However, Chuck seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That's just shocking. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. Yeah. I guess you're right. Why is Sonya just menacing, st menacingly standing over the body? Just, she's just like, <laughs> she's still got that rabbit stuck in her mouth. <laughs> this is too weird. Something this weird should never only be happening in song lyrics. Okay, I want to talk to the guy power posing, which is. Hmm. Bro, he just <laughs> spun around. That's weird. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from the refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a larger variety of drinks. Man. Well, I guess I'm just imagining anything. I mean, 
Who cares? Who cares about drinks right now? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. <laughs> what? <laughs> random, random man. Perhaps. Probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind. Obviously, who would want their death to go unsolved? However. But what she really wanted, she probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like this happening. Okay, time to investigate the bat. Obviously, murder weapon. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Meyer with a blunt instrument. That blunt object is the metal bat, right? This metal bat. Yep. It's the same as Twilight. As that's what I was thinking. I'm like, didn't the. Oh, no way. Well? Wait, did we? Yeah, we saw that. Wasn't the, the girl killed with a bat? Um. Yeah, right there. She's killed with a fatal blow from a metal bat, just like my hero. Hey, hey. Did you also play the game, Hanjime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? That's exactly but Did you play too? Then I'm sure you know about this, but the case is strong connected to Twilight Murder, I think. You probably need to solve the game's mystery too. All the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously and it still feels like when it What's ended. What's wrong? That's because you haven't beaten the game. I finished the game when the game over, but you were, but were you able to beat it? Mm. I'm not just some gamer girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. Promise. <laughs> she just insulted her pride as a. Girl gamer. She's one of the e. She, she, she's, 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 a, she's an e girl, but an actual e, but an e girl that's actually good at video games. She doesn't just look pretty. She's good at, she's good at games while looking pretty. <laughs> that's that's Chiaki right there. So what am I supposed to do as you do beat the game? I can't stop thinking about it for some reason. She didn't even tell us how to beat the game. Or is she gonna like come with us? To like come beat the game. Bloodstain! On well, four and they're streaked as if she crawled through them. They're probably streaked from when Mario tried to run away during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away. So it was leaning against the door. No, didn't it say she was killed instantly? See you coming, blah, 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 blah. The death was a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. See, death was a single killing blow. It didn't say she died from blood loss or anything. It said a single killing blow to the head. So that would imply she was killed instantly. Or am I just imagining things? The mask! This ugly anime mask. <laughs> or maybe party goods. Regardless, why is this even here? Could it be? Does do the killer wear that to conceal their face? Why would they even need to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um. Huh? That mask. You seen it? Sandwich Esperito. Uh, okay. It's a super fun anime about viewership surpassing 90% in my country. Wow, man, for you, she's a really popular anime from wherever she's from. Anime that has viewership over 90%. Is so just kind of really all right? It cannot be. It could be. Was that mask placed next to the body? Yes, it was. Come on, man. You should have known that. Are you kidding me? You telling me you haven't even looked at the the crime scene? <laughs> and that's true. Could it be? Could be what? Obviously, if Sonya's excited about it, and it's supposed to be, and knowing the end, 
everything usually in these games, some, some stuff that happens in the chapter, it's probably like Sparkling Justice, that stupid serial killer that she was excited about, kills people wearing anime masks. I am sorry. Uh, okay, she just left us. Okay, just leave us hanging in the dark. <laughs> it appears. Looks like she knows something. Until she decides to talk about it. So you need to be so worried, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Obviously, it's Sparkling Justice, a stupid serial killer. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiru? Bro, Mahiru wasn't energetic. She's lying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru. Bro, she was not in high spirits, man. God, well, as soon as the investigate, as soon as the investigation started, you know, all li all life drained from me, from Buffett. I don't know. The beginning was going so good, but then he just lost all his energy. And plus, I don't know why, but the heat is making me very hot, man. Whew. But we don't have time to wall in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. And face Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru's leaning against the beach door that leads to the road. If she leans on the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl through the door. Every time we seen the blood scenes, they streaked as if she crawled through them. But she used her leaned against the door and took her last breath. For some reason, has strong, but she must have really felt desperate. Uh, okay, what? Okay, I want to see what it updated because if it put that in there, that's wrong because that's definitely not it. Has streets leaning the doors as if I had crawled through it. Why would that put that under there? Why wouldn't that put that in like the... Oh, the bloodstains got put in there. This is a shower room. No showering allowed. You aren't a me like that. Oh god. Shower is being repaired. So water won't come out. Got it. Duh. What about hot water? That's impossible. Shower. Blah blah blah. But I I know this is already information I already know. I'm sorry. What heck does your mask have to do with repairing? You're so evil. It's all Frank's fault. Everything is Frank's fault. Oh. You must have read my mind. <laughs> Got it? As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand there. Okay, go. Bye. Toodaloo. The shower room. Well, am I not going inside? Oh God! Oh, I saw. I I thought that was a skeleton high, uh, hanging in the shower. Oh my God! Misleading, bro. This shower is huge. But change the behavior for Ben. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Can't look up. Ah, uh, yes, my crapper. Totally, but can you really use it as a step tool? What? Damn it. No one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. Well, that's the only other thing that make, would make. There's a window, it's small, but maybe you could crawl out of it somehow. Well, it. Well, it probably doesn't matter if someone can't crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high, so 
The window is also situated in very high place. But what's with Monokuma put, uh, Frank putting things in such high places? Yet yeah, you can't reach it. It's probably around nine feet. Not just that. It's an iron barbed window. If that's the case, yep, it's definitely possible. Go in and out of there. What? Are you still thinking about the window? I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me. Well, that's the only other end. Well, that's the only. Well, we went in the closet, and there was no exit except for the void. So, wouldn't the killer have to have gone out through the window? Because, like I said, Fuyuhiko went out, more than likely went out through the front door. Yoko went out the back. The killer would be left in there. And if they didn't go out the front because Mahi was there, and they would leave footprints going out the other way, uh, the beat, the killer would have to have gone out through this window. I don't understand. I, but I, I've yet to, I've yet to think of a way they would be able to get out the window. Now then, give, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window. Why am I giving you a piggyback ride? Pitch in and help. I feel like I'm the one pitching in and helping. I'll beat you up. If you don't hurry, I'll punch ya. <laughs> Bruh, she's wearing a skirt, man. You own that stuff. You do it. And you check. <laughs> Don't worry, my panties, my panties are clean. I see, that's good. <laughs> I let out a deep sigh, then bent over and under the window. Right. As I kind of shouted, she jumped onto my shoulders. Bam! I've got the pig. Oh, what a woman! God, man. Damn, man, look at the thighs, man! Damn, this is the biggest they're bringing Hachimi's waist! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Godness! I didn't know Akane was such a big lady! How big is she? God, I want to check now. She's only 5'7? How small is Hachimi? He's taller! 147. She even weighs less! How? This, this so, so, something doesn't add up here. <laughs> okay. Hey! Your balance sucks! Make sure your stance is wider! Jesus, man. My god, man, why does she have such big proportions? She's got such mu like thick legs and such skinny arms. God, man. Y you you're a lot heavier than I expected. Yeah, cuz I'm so buff. Like every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. Mass of muscle. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. I think that's just them being drunk and wanting to touch you all over. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> yeah, that, do that, uh, that, uh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> so, how's the window? Oh, right, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. Well, can you tell us? <laughs> Did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Proceeds to place head on crotch. <laughs> With Kane on my shoulder, I crammed my neck so I, that I started to worry. I'm outside now. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. So what, it's just for aesthetic? See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Bruh. What an experience. Bruh, I still look at her, she's blushing, she's like, I've never had a man so, so close to me, so close to my privates before. <laughs> 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 
This is a big dis. This is a isn't this a big discovery? Yes, it is. Even though it was pretty obvious. Problem is, how are they able to reach the window? Hmm. Even if they jump, they can't reach it. <laughs> but if two people work together like this, it wouldn't be a problem, right? Or oh, oh I maybe maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but where would the killer be? Because. They would, they would have to leave before Hyoko. And I can't imagine the- and we were in front of the diner, so... And I can't imagine them just standing around the beach house, because they would probably get seen by Hyoko with- Huh? Sounds like a big word. Is that a name of Kung Fu Master? But even if it wasn't a comp, um, the person acting as a stepdaughter would still be inside. Like. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help. So. Yeah, like. I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know. A ninja can climb fences and walls, no problem. Why? You pissed me off. You. What a waste of time to help you out. All you. All you saw were my panties. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> oh well. It's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Brah. I guess that's pretty much everything in here. Nope, no, it's the wrong thing. However. Excuse me, why there's so many things? Beach house door. There's a lot of drinks in the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take them from here? Not only that, the only drinks in here are either sweet or colored. They look unhealthy. There's a clue inside the trash can. There's a clue in the trash. <laughs> Who would have guessed? That's what I thought, but there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy. Well, it's important because I got a truth bullet. I guess I figured all I can. That's still not enough. Just a clue that I don't have a truth. Let's look at the event that again. Looks like I should try investing that again. And find out who killed. Oh, the game. Yeah, that's right. Girl E was killed in the game with a single blow from the metal bat. Okay, we're trying to get Chuck. Actually. Now, it's a real current theme to have kind of hit hidden connection. Then the mystery is hidden in the game. Who might know the mystery is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Bam, Chalky, help me finish the game. Actually, yeah, you are okay with... Um, are you done pissing? I think I finished everyone's... Yep. So... You want to know about the Twilight Syndrome? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. We gotta go. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Nothing like it. Uh, there's been a murder and I'm off to play video games with a gamer girl. <laughs> Leading, I left the beach house. and head to over to Jabberwock Park and the unsettling arcade machine. I never expected that person to be waiting. <laughs> it's not Nagito. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Hajimi, Chucky, I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagiti. <laughs> so I was able to talk to you guys. Yeah, man, I missed you so much, man. I missed your crazy ramblings. For just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well. Well, there's no way. To, no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently my hero got killed this time. Jeez. How horrible. 
She was the heart of our group, always spirited and always eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing! But you guys, you guys will be able to shine because Overcome is full of despair, right? That's right, no matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Though I do feel bad for my hero. This is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome their despair this time? Mm. By taking it out on you, of course. As usual, he's acting crazy. He's almost pissing me off. Now, now. You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you. Diaper lady. Oh god. Why does this why does this game constantly bring up this character? Go away! Um Let's... But fighting among friends is what Ma Frank wants you guys to do. What? Yeah, against each other because, you know, we're at odds with each other. This man is a literal danger to us. That's, like, totally different. He is not our friend. Now, now. You should forgive her. Diapers is making a valid point, too. But... But now is not the time for friends to fight. That's right! Enough of you! Just go away! <laughs> Man... I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's no really... There's really no true ending. Now then. Hmm. What do you want to be useful? The killer or us? <laughs> I will always be on the side of hope. The creepier he gets, the more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. The more I listen, the more I don't hear. <laughs> if he didn't exist, this way would be a lousy day. Hey, hey. Let's just start the game. Yeah, let's play the game again. Woo! <laughs> After there's a walk for the walkthrough for this game. Is there a walkthrough for the game? Uh -huh. I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again, all over again. Well? When you get the game over, that's the walkthrough. Bro, he didn't realize the message that down five, that you input down five. I literally said that. Like the when I first, uh, last episode. Want me to tell you? Do you want me to? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. See? You yeah, should see me, you know, when it was displayed on day. You know, it's... Are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. That doesn't mean you're down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. That's the hidden command. Yep. You press the down button five times when on the title screen. Is that you should be able to get the real game? Nope. Doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just you either get it or you don't. In fact, now he's got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Bro, she's basically saying that I'm stupid. <laughs> that I'm I, I'm not I'm not a, you know I'm not a gamer. Ah, oh, time to hiss. Time to listen to this drip again. I need to press five, five down five times on the title screen. Let's do this. Open the new door to toilet. Press down five with your own hands. I'm pressing down five. The screen changed. She was right. 
Oh my god, who would have suspected that the Guildsman Gamer wouldn't lie? Would li <laughs> yep. Mer Truth edition. I should start it up to find out. Uh, the other one, the, the other run is so much better. Now loading. We open with a specific murder case. A tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that is the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police relayed the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck it on the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind the incident even before the janitor first discovered the body. There were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were there in first year. However, the tragedy did befall those girls. Several days after that, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened on, at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek will be hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now let's start the first day where it all begins. Oh ho! Blam! <laughs> oh yeah, the big clot hopper. I'm sorry, uh, I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're all gonna go home late because you had to wait for a slowpoke girl A. Come on, girl B, you don't have to be like, be that mad. Hey, don't be go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I I'm not your friend. Wow, there's no way I'd be friends with a nasty, trashy peach like you. Oh, the girl treats people like even low charts looking to collect would get sick for to their stomachs. Is girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us just wait here a little longer. She can't find her swim school swimsuit. Your swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Stolen? You don't know? Her has been saw recently. She'd be able to super careful girl A, a chubby weakling like... You make sh the perfect prey. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Stop, girl A's getting really scared. It's fun to bully girl A. <gasps> what was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go start. It's even got the investigation music. <laughs> huff, 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 huff. Huff, huff, huff. What happened? I don't know, I walked by him from the music room just now, and then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. That's what I think, but the door is locked. I can't get it open. Is someone locked from the inside? Is there someone really in there? If we use the key from the teacher's line, we can get it open. I get the key to the music room. Probably gone by now, so I'm sure... I have a bad feeling. I found the key, nobody was there. Bro, what is happening? What the heck? Okay. Lead the way. Why me? Why are you sending in the scaredy cat first? <laughs> I don't want to do this, guys. Don't tell me what to do. Look at me. Oh, God, I've been...
someone's laying on the floor. Gee, man, who would have thought that there's a person laying on the floor right there? And now they come running over. This is... She's not lying down. She's dead. <gasps> oh, no, she's dead, guys. That's it. That's impossible. Kill. Lower your voice. They might be near me. I mean, look. Someone murdered her. What's going to happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? I see. That's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route. Could it be? Wow. Who? who, who Maybe the open, giant, gaping window? The window was broken. The sound we heard from the entry wall was probably the window breaking. Yeah, but then... Probably locked the music room from the inside and I'm killing the girl. They broke the window and escaped. Hit on the head when she died. But I can't seem to find any blood here. What happened to the women? Did the killer take it? But if they want to run away, they could have opened the window. Why'd they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave. Let's look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. <laughs> wow, I'm actually getting truth bullets from this dumb game. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I have to... Solve the murder in the game from I have to solve the murder in the game in the game So maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway But is that really it? I need to lock the door you'd have to either walk it from the inside the music room or use the lounge key But it was in the teacher's lounge so the killer would wouldn't have been had time to return the key before they broke the window then the door could have been locked from the inside, then the kid just was inside the music room. But we didn't see anyone pass. That means the only escape route was the window. <laughs> oh my god. It's probably the pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school ground. My school screw map was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. They probably locked the music room so Bro, this is so, this is some stuff this is this is not Bro, this is getting sussy. Something smells so rotten here. <laughs> School swimsuit, girl E swimsuit. Isn't it bad if we just stay here much longer? I mean I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around. <sighs> Yeah, let's go. But don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime subject just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. It'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just look, just lock the door, leave everything how it was. Hey, please wait, don't leave me here. Okay, now we get the third day. Girl G! Sorry, did I make you wait? What's up? You asked me to meet me here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Aw, <laughs> oh, you jokester. What happened? I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the end, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help but taking a picture. What do you think these broken vase me pieces mean? That sound we heard from the wasn't the sound of the window breaking. I, I oh girl e sussy sussy. I don't know anything about that vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. I don't know anything. It's okay. I made sure to throw it away. 
if anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right? Oh, so girl E killed... Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, girl E killed girl A. Uh, no, not girl A. Uh, the girl. So... She kills girl A. And... Oh, that would explain why she was out of breath. And why she was there. So she kills the girl. Breaks the window. Goes to the lounge. Gets the key and locks the door. Goes back. Goes to the other room. Breaks the vase to draw us in. But has a swim... Oh, maybe she was wearing the swimsuit. And it was covered in blood. And she just used, like, the pervert story as, like, a cover for it being missing. I, I, I don't I don't know what the, I don't know how the swimsuit plays into it or the fish tank Of course not that's not what this is about. Oh, I just I just skipped something I Mean we're friends, right? You didn't say anything either. I knew I knew you know I Knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you No, she wasn't just torment. She was seriously making you life Oh, Minch. That <laughs> was in the, your photography club back in the middle school. She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Don't tell me you... Thought she could do anything she just wanted just because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. But she started talking stuff like but how she knew she'd... How she target me next time? <laughs> I felt sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness. But things would have been worse if she woke up. So that's why I had to do something about it. That's or yours. It's all her fault. Girly. What is that? Might you just like put a diaper there? Guy F. That club girl E was it? Word is, sh word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw something away and. What what is this photo? This vase. So the breaking class was actually this. It wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? What the heck did you do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask a few questions, and if that really did that, I will never, I will never forgive her. Hey, I got the Frank over. Looks like this is the end of the game. That's right. The truth of this, in the instant the first day... Yep. Yep, now you feel not for all four events. What do you think of the characters in this game? Um, Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. See? Let's see any staff rolled. Perhaps. Staff roll! Okay, let's look at the staff roll. Ma producer Frank. Director Frank. Supervisor Frank. Plan <laughs> scenario Frank. Programmer Frank. <laughs> Graphics by Frank. Sound, Frank! Cast, Sumiki, Koizomi, Hyoko, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu, Kuzuryu. Producer Supreme Frank. Wait, what was that just now? See? You wanna know who- Miracle! Yay, congrats, Miracle! Congratulations! You finally be in Twilight Syndrome murder case! <laughs> and now you guys have played the game through at the end, you should already know. That's right, the game is non-fiction based on... Is this true? By the way... Means an original story based on historical factor records. Phew. But even if you probably guys don't remember it. Well, I can't be helped. <laughs> you no longer remember the setting for the story. Isn't that what... Now then, for the as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for playing the game, yeah. I won't give it to ya. <laughs> there was only one ending prize, and I gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad. How disappointing. Hmm. 
like like I was told the same thing Aww. when I beat it too. I was too late. If I'd known something like that I was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. Isn't that the pr isn't the problem? Isn't it? Marco said earlier he mentioned how his school life was. Something crazy like that even possible. You... Looks like your mind's onto something. Perhaps... Probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten the game. That that... It's the missing link that I just said to... Oh god. So, do you believe... Oh god. It's the motive or not. It's clear that the murder did occur. If that's the case, I need a question directly. Um here in the game, right? And if we're actually at Hey hey <laughs> Oh my you're at it ask him how it feels to be a character in a game. Leave it to me. Also you have his thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. All right, Chucky, let's go! Hello there. Oh, God. Don't leave me with this man. You caught me? Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you be in the game, we must think similar. Man. <laughs> it's okay that you just make your well... point. I told them to meet up there. Well? You don't know? Here in Twilight Cinema Mario case, of course. The girls must be busy with their own book, too. It'd be a waste if we both questioned them or- Bye now. What should we do? Mm -hmm. I guess the only thing we can do is go. To fast travel. Let's go, Chuck. Whoa! Bro, she's a little boingy there. Yep. Um. I I already know. Well. Hey. Run, splinty legs, run! Oh God. I know this already happened, but you know, I gotta go to the bathroom again. <laughs> I mean I mean I already I know I already left this episode, but I gotta go I gotta This is for a different way, I gotta go to the bathroom. So uh I don't know, just enjoy looking at this hot man. <laughs>
Oh, almighty oh, whitey white. Oh, sorry. I don't know, man. I really had to go to the bathroom. Okay, how many, how many troop posts do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, God, man. I feel like there's going to be so much more. Why do I even need to talk to these people? Like, they're not going to uh... remember it anyways. Sumiki, Kozomi, Sayonji, Mayota, Sato, and Kuzuryu. Kuzuryu. There was two Kuzuryus. Wow. Are we one for you, but he locked himself into his car. It won't Sorry. come out. What? It's okay if he's absent. I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. <laughs> I mean, you said Frank had something important to tell us. Became... <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> you tricked us, obviously. Why would you even believe him, you freaking idiot? What the? What? Jeez! Then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you wait until we finished our business with you? <sighs> Let's talk to Yoko. I can't believe you actually tricked us so we'd come to this place. <laughs> I have nothing to say to the impudent regular people like you. Regular. <laughs> or at least I should have one. Yeah, man, there's something I need to ask you. Have you played the Twilight Syndrome murder case? Um... No, since we weren't gonna play it, the game, we're also really, not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure girl A character was just like that. Hey, hey. But your relationship with Mahiru. <laughs> not well... sexual. What the... I first met her, um... When we first gathered in the classroom with everyone else. And after that... I've become but Does my hero hate me? So quick to resort to being hated. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated for her actually to invite me, she must have been a really kind person. <laughs> Inviting me this morning. Um. She was very serious and she was wondering if... We could all meet up so we could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to climb because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she rescheduled for another day. <laughs> then this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, probably. Mikon. <laughs> Mikon because. Mikon. Bagal. You can you let her die. Why weren't you there? Oh, there's Chucky. She's just hanging off in the corner. Why you? Bring it on. Aww. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those. Guitar! So I touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm sure that's a lie, but now I... Her unique tone or hyper hey, there's a character like that in the game, too. What's your relationship between Mario and <laughs> You mean in a perverted way? Look at my tongue. You know what this tongue did? Nothing. No in a normal way. Aww. Well, even yeah. Ibuki's encounter with Mario was like... Mm -hmm. Oh! When I asked her to go to the beach with us, she made a real disappointing face. I see, I yeah, see. Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on person. Ibuki associated with department store rooftops. It turns out Mara had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to to that instead. She said something like, "I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans, do you know what she meant by everyone?" Aww. Nope, I didn't ask. I see. I see. Based on that, it seems Mara also beat the game. You don't know? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beats the game, she talked to the people who appeared in the game. <laughs> just like what we're doing right now. But still... But her, it was much more serious. Probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. Mm. But I'm surprised, I never thought Mario would play the game. That was unexpected. Did you tempt her into playing the game? Huh? I remember. 
So you're saying she had some business to take care of? Why, you know that. You tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. How mean. That's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful, my rude. Isn't that right? Her feelings would change just because of a useless guy team tempted her. At time, that time, she was already considering giving the, the game a try. All I would give a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. So that's tempting, isn't it? That's like the same thing. Well, isn't it better if we listen to what everyone has to say? She's being quiet as ever. Hey. Everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you, right? Well, Hyoko. <laughs> she never talked to me at all. That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask such an easy question. <laughs> Bro, man, she's 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 keeping it all in. Just bottled up. So I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Ignoring my voice, Shioko ran as though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's, it's okay to say she ran away. She's clearly suspicious, that's pretty much decided. Now then. Bye now. I'll see you. <laughs> what more can I investigate, man? Chugga, what should we do? To see a crime, but let's invite Mahiru's cottage. If she beat the game, it's best if we investigate. Mm -hmm. She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. Mm. That's your cute, yes? I don't know why I did that. Wait a minute. Oh, it's this one. Okay. What, what? happened? Uh, no. No, we gotta go to Fuyu Hikos. He's being a douche. He's not coming out, I huh? Think. But I think it's better we've Bro, oh my god, what? Oh no, she's at the end, right? La 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 la! Ah! God, man, this is exhausting! I guess I should go inside, yes. I'm just going into the girl's room. Cottage. Her, my Zono. Hey, look, there's another Frank just hiding behind the TV, thinking he's so sly. That proves Mahiru was here. Um. Then I should. <gasps> Burn every foot. <gasps> Chiyaki! Are you saying she was pent up? Yep. <laughs> wow, man, I didn't expect you to admit it. Even, even Frank was surprised. Oh, you were kidding? Oh. See? Oh. Uh, no, we want what the. We want. We want dirty Frank! No! Damn, hiding your surfboard behind the TV! <sighs> Classic. Ooh, look at those. Wait, why is there a woman there? Oh my god! On top of the bed. Hey. Could it be this might be the ending prize? Um. Inside the envelope. Let's find out. A photo of me kind of in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. Just like in the game. Oh yeah, because that's when me and Mahiru took the photo in the game. It's like, what are you doing? Don't take my photo. Yep. 
girl B was in a bad mood because girl A was late. And girl D tried to cheer up by taking her picture. Okay, we got that photo. What else is in there? Look at this photo. That's the broken vase. Girl D showed girl E. As I recall, the broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. But still. But this photo is more shocking. Oh! Hmm. This is an action of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind this, it looks like the music room. The first victim. Oh. The one they blamed on the pervert. Um. This is the last photo. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. Um. And he nearly matches her body in the game. See? And no, this girl is E. Hey, leveled up! Again! Yay! Okay, we got those mm. photos. Yep. Yep. This seems to be, this is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for being fun and we're taking Proves to us based on natural murder. Huh? What's this? Is there something else? See? Try playing Cyberman okay, after you get the game over. Press down five times for a real game for the real game. Once you do that, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. This note. Wait. Time Maybe out. The and receive the ending prize wasn't Mahiru. Someone else sent Mah this to Mahiru? And that person is actually received the ending prize. Wasn't just Lord she also received the yeah. envelope. Play the game first. The symbol looks very familiar. And the word sister was there in this. I can't think of anyone other than him. Yeah, it was for you, Hiko. Because when we walked, bumped into him that one time, that one after the night after the game, he was carrying an envelope in his arms. Hey, hey. One thing left. We have to find that, but there's no more. Just... <laughs> oh! Oh! God, always showing up out of freaking nowhere. What a coincidence! If something happens twice, three times charms, they say. Ice stalker. Now, now. I was thinking about. Down to me. Bow to me and lick my shoes! Huh? <laughs> Just kidding, I was joking. <laughs> Didn't sound like a joke. Actually... It was about the footprints. Killer left their footprints on the beach house. Did you find out who's going <laughs> If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to, come to the beach house. Oh. I trust your... I trust as far as I can throw him. What are you going to do, Chucky? Mm. Follow you and see if he can tell me anything. So... Yep. I'll leave this man to you. Doesn't get rough with you. Yep. I guess this is the part where I'll see you later, Hajimi. What? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, Hajimi. Oh, come on. Ugh. Yeah, there's no way I'm walking there. No way. Bam! I can just teleport to the beach! <gasps> now then. Look at him jumping for joy because I beat him here. Let's try going inside, but the footprints are on the beach. Nagito! Whoa! Hello there. How's the little soda man? <laughs> Thanks to you, I was able to walk until I mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? This b 
best heart. Um, bad news. I have discovered very terrible. Um. Not only that, I believe there's nothing like, but there's something I know is too. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Mikon. Let's see what's what's your big news. Um. Care to the others? Isn't that important? So, please don't get and just just go on with it. Not Topsy and I was able to find out. Mara definitely is killed by a blow to a head. It's probably struck from behind by one blow based on the scar. The weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud has silver lining, as they say. Um, looks like Mara here didn't suffer. Um, there's no she died instantly. Uh, bro, I already know that. What the? F The autopsy report. Um, There's another thing I found. <laughs> when you're busy, just just tell me. Well, I discovered this in Mario's pocket. I was go I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. After what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the on the second island at 2:30. It seems that there's something someone wants to fear with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret until then. Let's try to not see each other for a while. They start respecting us for no reason. Kyoku Sayanji. <laughs> if this letter is real, it would mean met up Mahiru. And if, we, and if you think about what that implies, then... <laughs> letter on Mahiru's purse. I swear, if this is just new saying, yeah, it's a serial killer sparkling justice, but I know it's going to say that, and I'm disappointed that they are so clueless, they actually feel they need to spell, actually tell you. See? The Sun Witch Espo Edo Mask. Kill used to hide their face. Listen. That is not correct. The mask was not used to hide their face. Then what was it used for? Well? Sparkling justice. Is a serial allied justice who makes name mankind shudder. Those near my supposedly secret only murders other criminals. That is an order! Bro, like, Mahiru, but Mahiru really isn't a criminal. I mean, I guess she was hard. Well, she wasn't harboring. I mean, yeah, she knew she. Girl E killed her, but. It's not like. And she didn't say anything, but that's not. Is that. That doesn't sound. Is that criminal? I don't know. Hey. This. No. There's a heroin master, be precise. <laughs> it's a witch girl. Anyway. Is the one who killed my hero. <laughs> is among us. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen a twist like this in some point of video game. This is stupid serial killer in my butt. The killer just used it to cover their face. That's weird. But even so, they sh sure chose that something stands out. That might be true, but... However... Jesus Rezov is foolish. It might be best to exercise with caution. About this so-called sparkling uh, justice. The light of justice shines upon my mask. I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. What? The hell? Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! Jeez, they sure say justice a lot. That would be me. Sparkling justice! What the heck was well? that? That was sparkling justice catchphrase. That is too long to be a catchphrase. That is a whole freaking monologue. What? Has a catchphrase? Do you have a minute? I read a magazine in the library. There's only been one a journalist who has interviewed her. They interviewed her! So they tried to However, The judge was punished by Sparkling too. 2. <sighs> My mom would hear that from you. Um, Nobody knows her true age or gender, making them very. Listen! Was lurking on the island all along before they decided to kill Mahiru. Wow. That's probably not possible. I... That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much thing I like, simply cannot believe this. 
Oh god, here we go. Cry the waterworks are back. Okay, what do you want now? Tell what you're so tell me what you already know. Didn't you find the footprints? I at the airport I made it I went to a certain place. <laughs> You'd probably say I snuck into everyone's cottage. Just <gasps> everyone. Yep. I told Frank I need access for the day. Simply let me in. What a douche. Now then. He squatted down at the beach house. See. Take a look. Yoko, Pecos, Hajimis. Yep. That's right. I got a sample of everyone's footprint. Unfortunately, if you he could wouldn't let me leave his, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> it seems that uh, the footprints obviously belong to this person. Yep. Hiyoko. <laughs> oh wow. Who would have guessed? I've only been saying that like all the, the whole this whole time. Well. Then I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her car. Remember, if she stayed there, I couldn't sneak Perhaps. in. Perhaps. Sorry, if I lured her, she wouldn't be in her cottage. In a hurry to go back to her cottage. Like a small animal. <laughs> yep, there's no mistake. Shioko. Um. But I also found this in her cottage. See? Goomlies. Hmm. They're gummy candies. They're Frank Mung Us gummies. Apparently she likes this brand of gummies. The other band, but she only brought a bunch of these home. <laughs> People are like that sometimes. Even if she, well, it's not clear, or flint, but I just... They probably... <laughs> yep. The gummy bag. Each bag... Each blank comes in four flavors, strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. The cum! The hostility of fresh blood! The insanity of a contest of wits! The class trial is finally raising its curtain! So meet up! In fr Once you're there, please proceed to the- <laughs> Ooh, it's finally time. Now then. God, that's this investigation took way too long. Bro, it's two third. It's two. I was in thirty right. minutes. Oh my god, man! <laughs> There's no way to spawn a guy anyway. We should just start heading over. There is no escape. Oh my god, man! Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have stopped like uh, the first bit. Did like two parts, like the, up to the investigation. Then I should have went like yesterday. Did the inve this investigation? Oh my god, it took like. Took like almost like three out. Ugh. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Why am I walking? Kinda sad, no one no one showed up. No one talked to Buffett. Let me go! Why is he pulling her by her hair? Why you? Shut up and stay put, you little little watita. Stop it! Stop harassing the child. Jeez. So Frank brought her here by force. So, but still trying to wait. So Frank's trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. I had to make you. Believable. She's making me waste my sweet ass time. <laughs> Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? <laughs> He's totally ditched my appointment. Oh man, we gotta jab him up the on the butt cheek now. <laughs> what is happening? 
Oh my god, man! Monica Frank Swall! God, man, he's entered He's entered his phase two! Hm. Wow, I wanted to see him grab for you, Hiko. Hmm? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so I, no matter the ending, I have to accept it. Bastard! Accepting defeat is not an option. Hmm. Oh. Anyway. Bro, man, is Monica Luma gonna stay in this form like throughout the whole trial? See ya later. Bro, that would be amazing. <laughs> Just watching, seeing this giant jacked friend. Like. Show some spirit. This, too, must be the will. <laughs> oh, we gotta do this all again. Gotta go to Frank. Open up your mouth. You're so evil. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, it just disappears, and then we're almost like we're about to blast off into space. Hey, who's in the back? Oh, it's Pecco. Jeez, holy ma holy moly, man, it's so far down. Tiddy. He made it look like a beach. Is that even there's even sand on the floor? <laughs> so I start redecorating, how is that? Impossible! No, no! This killing aim is just kill time. Yeah that alone is my purpose. <laughs> like those who have purpose always are always the ones the weakest ones of the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap ass purposes like trying to survive. <laughs> and enjoy the cross trap on the bottom of your heart. It's starting. The class trial. Oof. Oof. Okay, I'm just gonna end it here. Because I just don't wanna... I don't know. <gasps> okay, so, uh... I'll see you on Friday. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on Friday. That'll be that would be the zero time dilemma since we switched it up. 2 p.m. EST like always. I do hope you show up. I was kind of sad. Bubba was kind of sad that they. No one showed up here. This episode was way longer than it needed to be. And so yeah. Bubba tips his hat in appreciation for the two, the silent people. That showed up. Toodaloo.